We received a phone call from a person wanting to put an extra story on their existing house the other day. So anyone wanting to build another story on top of their existing house has to consider why they would want to do that. An extension to a house going vertically upwards is not necessarily the most cost effective way of gaining more space. If your house is already on a quite a small block and going up is the only option, then you really don't have much choice, but it may well be cheaper for you if you're on a large enough block to extend out sideways rather than going straight up. Now the way we do an extension on top of a house varies from design to design, but invariably it means supporting the upper level structure on a new set of beams and posts that run down through the existing walls onto their own footings. So the upstairs structure becomes almost an independent structure of the downstairs area. The downstairs area still has to take the bracing loads, the sideways loads, but the vertical loads, the people loads and the weight of the building are invariably taken by new beams, new floor joists and new posts all the way to the ground directly without putting load on the existing structure. The reason we do this is that the lintels and the beams that are over the existing doors and windows aren't necessarily strong enough to take the load from the extra weight of the building on for, of the new building on top. So we bypass all those concerns by taking all that load straight down to the floor directly on independent footings and posts. I'm Matt Cornell from Cornell Engineers.